friends. The human skeleton is the internal skeleton that forms the framework of the body. It consists of bones and cartilages and not only bones and cartilages but it also contains various other connective tissues like the tendons and the ligaments. All these structures work in close coordination with each other so as to provide structure and rigidity to the body. We have got 206 bones in the body and that is quite a large number to support us in our day-to-day -day life. Well friends, the human skeleton, like the other vertebrates, is divided into two principal sections, namely the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton consists of the bones of the skull, the vertebral column, the sternum, the ribs, the ear ossicles. And the total number of bones in the axial skeleton are 80. Not only this, even the appendicular skeleton has got 126 bones, about 6 bones in the girdles and 120 bones in both the upper and the lower limbs. So we have a good idea about the bones in our body. Well friends, today in this session, we are going to talk about the bones of the skull, that is the bones of the cranium and the facial bones. We shall talk in detail about each one of them. Well friends, the skull is a bony structure and this bony structure supports the face as well as forms a protective covering for the brain. Well, the entire skull is divided into two sections, namely the cranium and the facial bones. So let's first talk about the cranium. Well, the cranium is also known as a brain box or the neurocranium. Now why the word brain box? Because these bones enclose the brain and protects the brain. Well, friends, the cranium forms a superior aspect of the skull and these bones are eight in number. The cranium encloses and protects the brain, meninges and the cerebral vasculature. Well friends, anatomically, the entire cranium is divided into two main regions, namely the cranial roof, which is also known as calvarium and the cranial base. Let's talk about the calvarium or the cranial roof. Well, the calvarium is made up of three bones, namely the frontal, the two parietal and the occipital bone. How about the cranial base? Well, the cranial base forms the base of the cranial vault and this base forms a point of articulation for the facial bones like the mandible as well as for the first cervical vertebrae that is the atlas. Well, friends, we have talked about the cranial roof as well as the cranial base. Well, friends, you need to understand this, that the part of the skull which surrounds the brain is known as a cranium and this cranium protects the brain. The cranium has eight bones, namely the frontal bone, the two parietal bones, the two temporal bones, the occipital bone, the sphenoid bone and the ethmoid bone. Well, these bones form a bony wall around the brain and these bones have many openings through which the blood vessels and nerve pass. The occipital bone as a whole, known as foramen magnum, and this foramen magnum allows the spinal cord which gets attached to the brain through the skull. Well, the ethmoid, frontal and sphenoid bones have small spaces between them and these are known as paranasal sinuses. Well, what are the functions of paranasal sinuses? Friends, the paranasal sinuses decrease the weight of the bone and they also increase the resonance of the voice, especially when you sing and hum. So let's talk about each of the individual bones of the cranium. Let's first talk about the frontal bone. The frontal bone extends from the forehead to the coronal suture and this bone is attached to the parietal bone. Next is the ethmoid bone. Well, the ethmoid bone is small and rectangular in shape and this bone lies within the eye cavity just behind the bridge of the nose. Next is the occipital bone. The occipital bone forms the back of the head and as already stated, it has a hole known as foramen magnum. Not only this, the occipital bone also has protuberances known as occipital condyle through which it connects with the atlas, that is the first cervical vertebrae. 
Next is the parietal bone. Well, these are present at the sides of the skull. After the parietal bone, we shall now talk about the sphenoid bone. The sphenoid bone is present just below the frontal bone and is present behind the cavity of the eye and the nose. Next are the temporal bones. The temporal bones are present at the base and the sides of the skull. The temporal bone houses the structure of the ear and the lower part of the seven cranial nerves as well as the major blood vessels to and from the brain traverse the temporal bone. Well friends, we talked about all the eight bones of the cranium. Now you need to know that the human skull is dicondylic. Now what do I mean by the word dicondylic? Well, it means that the human skull has two condyles. And what are these condyles? Well, these are occipital condyles. And these occipital condyles are rounded protuberances in the region of the occipital bone. These occipital condyles help in the articulation of the human skull with the vertebral column, that is, the atlas region of the vertebral column. Well, friends, you must be wondering that there are different bones in our cranium and how are these bones brought together or kept together? Well, these bones are attached to each other by sutures and these sutures are immovable joints. The human skull has about four sutures in the cranium and these are the coronal suture, the sagittal suture, the lambdoid suture and the squamous suture. We need not talk about in detail about each one of them as it is beyond the scope of your syllabus. Well, friends, we talked in detail about the bones of our cranium and now we shall talk in detail about the bones of our face. Well, the facial bones are 14 in number and let's talk in detail about each one of them. We shall first talk about the nasal bones. The nasal bones are small and rectangular shaped bones and these are paired, that is these are two in number. Now these bones form the bridge of the nose, that is they form the seating place or they form the seat for the bridge of our glasses. Let's now talk about the lacrimal bones. The lacrimal bones are also paired, that is two in number and these are the smallest bones of our face. These are very thin bones and these resemble a fingernail in size and shape. The lacrimal bones are present posterior and lateral to the nasal bones and form the medial wall of each orbit. Let's now talk about the palatine bones. The palatine bones are also paired, that is these are two in number and these are L-shaped. Now where are these present? Well, the palatine bones form a part of the posterior region of the heart palate and also form a part of the floor and the lateral wall of the nasal cavity as well as the part of the floor of the orbit. Next we shall talk about the inferior nasal concave bones. Well, the inferior nasal concave bones are also paired that is two in number and they lie in position inferior to the middle nasal concave and projects into the nasal cavity. Well, all the three nasal concave pairs of bones that is the superior, the middle and inferior nasal concave. They increase the surface area of the nasal cavity and filters the air that enters from the nasal cavity into the lungs. We shall now talk about the Voma bone. The Voma is a solitary bone and is triangular shaped and is present on the floor of the nasal cavity. The Voma bone forms the inferior portion of the bony nasal septum. The septum which divides the nasal cavity into the right and left sides. Next, we shall talk about the bones which form the upper and the lower jaw. The bones which form the upper jaw are the maxillae which are paired and they unite to form the upper jaw bone. The mandible forms the lower jaw bone and this is solitary that is only one in number and this is the strongest facial bone. Next are the zygomatic bones. The zygomatic bones are also called the cheekbones because they form the prominence of cheeks. These bones are also present in the lateral wall as well as the floor of each orbit. Well friends, we have talked in detail about all the 14 bones present in our face. And not only this, we even talked about the bones present in our cranium. And hence, we can appreciate now the, all the 22 bones present in our skull, that is eight bones in our cranium and 14 bones in our facial skeleton. 
So on this note, let's conclude the session. But before that, let's summarize important points. The human skeleton is an internal skeleton that serves as a framework for the entire body. This framework consists of individual bones and cartilage along with many bands of fibrous connective tissue such as ligaments and tendons. The human skeleton, like that of many other vertebrates, consists of two principal subdivisions, namely the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The skull is a bony structure that supports the face and forms a protective covering around the brain. The skull consists of two main divisions, namely the bones of the cranium and the bones of the face. The cranium of the brain box is anatomically divided into two main regions, namely the calvarium, which is the cranial roof, and the cranial base. The cranium of the brain box has eight bones, namely one frontal bone, two parietal bones, two temporal bones, one occipital bone, one sphenoidal, and one ethmoidal bone. The occipital bone has a hole known as foramen magnum through which the spinal cord attaches to the brain through the skull. The frontal, ethmoidal, and sphenoidal bones have hollow spaces known as paranasal sinuses. The human skull is dicondylic as it has two occipital condyles which articulates with the superior region of the vertebral column. Immovable joints called sutures attach most of the skull bones together and are seen more prominently on the outside of the skull. The facial bones are 14 in number and these are two nasal bone, two lacrimal bones, two palatine bones, two inferior nasal concave, two maxillae, two zygomatic bone, one boma and one mandible. Well friends, we are done and dusted with this session where we talked about the bones of the cranium as well as that of the facial skeleton. And I hope, in fact, I'm sure that you're crystal clear about all these concepts. So meet you in the next session. Till then, have a nice time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.